When you walk into the baby section of a store, there is always a dedicated area devoted to baby monitors. It's like we've been led to think that we need a baby monitor to ensure our baby's safety at all times. When in reality, we are rarely glued to the monitor and we can check on our baby as often as we check the monitor anyway. Welcome back to my channel, Crazy Clean Mama here. Before I continue, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let me tell you this, my parents raised all nine of us siblings with no baby monitor and we all turned out fine. Or at least most of us did. And the key to not needing a monitor is that someone could always see or hear the baby at all times. Just like how most daycares operate, I like to live by the phrase that no child should be left unattended. But the real reason why I do not use a baby monitor is because they emit high amounts of EMF radiation. The closer the monitor is to your baby, the worse it is. That means that you should especially avoid those sock-wearing baby monitors. Absolutely worst invention ever and avoid using those on your baby. Don't get scared into thinking that you need one for your baby. And EMF radiation is the exact same reason why I do not use sound machines like the Hatch Baby. We have enough technology radiating EMF around the house like Wi-Fi or cell phones, computers, that the last thing I want to add to my baby's environment is more EMF. You don't need fancy EMF technology to raise a baby. Just to name a couple, EMF exposure has been linked to health issues such as cancer and cognitive issues. My baby is almost eight months old now, and so how do I operate without a baby monitor? Well, my baby is always within eyesight or within earshot. And that just basically means I can always see or hear my baby wherever he's playing or sleeping. I kept his bassinet in the living room and his crib in the bedroom. Now that he outgrew the bassinet, then we just let him nap on the living room floor and it's been working out really well. I always like to go back to how my parents raised us. They never bought fancy baby equipment. Things were just simple and way more natural. They only bought the necessary things that made navigating the environment with the baby easier, such as a stroller. So if you're in the midst of buying a baby monitor or trying to research and figure out one to put in your registry, just ask yourself this first. Will your baby truly not survive without a baby monitor? Or do the benefits of a monitor truly outweigh the risks? And if you think that they do, then I totally respect that. Just remember that you want to keep the monitor as far away from your baby as possible. And also consider those audio baby monitors because they emit the least amount of EMF. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!